Hey guys, this is Blue. So I wanted to go over mission four of Act 6, Chapter 1, because it is definitely the most difficult mission in the new story chapter. And that primal boss is definitely a very tricky one. You know, one of the harder bosses we've had for sure. And I did mention this um, in a comment on the previous video I did for missions one through three. Act 6, Chapter 1, in general, is going to be harder for a lot of players mainly because the AI is more advanced. They have jacked up the AI for sure. Um, they're faster, they react much more quickly, and we're at the point now where the AI will do certain things that a human cannot do. So I definitely noticed some, you know, LOC3 type stuff where they're, you know, blocking specials at the end of combos. Sometimes they can seem to hit you while you're hitting them. Um, their reaction time is just lightning quick. And this is true for, you know, throughout the first chapter of Act 6. And so, in general, if you're running into trouble, the best thing to do is to play patiently, back off, and primarily attack by countering. Because if you play super aggressive, the AI, the AI is just going to be able to move more quickly than you, and you can end up getting wrecked. Okay, so that's a general note for Act 6, and I assume it will continue throughout the rest of Act 6. But beyond that, Mission 4 is definitely very annoying um, because, first of all, the primal boss is quite difficult. A lot of players will have a hard time with him. But on top of that, the mods in this mission, you know, all of the lanes have pretty annoying, irritating mods. Okay, so first of all, we have Rampage on that primal boss. This is an annoying mod because he starts with a resistance buff, which makes him essentially immune to damage. And you have to remove that buff with the three corresponding attacks, melee, ranged, and then a special. You have to land all of those in order to remove that resistance buff because otherwise he's just not going to take damage. Now, the melee and the special are fine. The annoying thing, though, is that you have to land at least one basic range shot. And that can be tricky because he's also on Absorb Projectile, which is one of the most frustrating mods that we have. So the best thing to do with Primal is fire off a few basic rain shots at a distance because if you're close to him, well, not only will he heal, but he'll be able to counter you instantly. You know, again, with this advanced AI, he can counter you super fast. And so that can be really annoying because then not only is he going to heal, but you will end up taking a lot of damage. So if you can land even one basic rain shot at a distance, he'll be far enough away he can't counter you. The resistance buff is removed, and then you can go in and land a special. But in general, because he's on Absorb Projectile, you've got to avoid most basic range shots, because otherwise he'll just heal right up, okay? On top of that, he's on Unstable Energon, which has been bugged for a long time. It's a lot of shock damage, so you want to try to land those heavies if you're not using a purifier. And he's on Cycle Resist, which makes him even more tanky, because he's taking no damage on, you know, melee, ranged, and specials, depending on where he is in the cycle. And to finish it off, this is Primal, who's already very tanky. So this is an extremely tanky, beefed up bot for sure, okay? And so this is the kind of fight that might take you several attempts, okay? As always, against a bot like Primal, you know, using an armor breaker like OGP, like OGM can do very well. You know, if you have a high Sig Tronus, that can work. Um, you know, especially if you can get his SIG to activate and prevent some of these buffs. Any really big damage bot, you know, big special damage bot, you know, like a Sound Blaster, Galvatron, um, the Shocky Tech team could do well, you know, even though um, uh, Primal's armor, his SIG will, you know, prevent some of the shock from landing because he'll, he'll, you know, uh, deactivate it more quickly than normal. That could do well. Uh, but in general, more important than the bots that you're using is the fact that you've got to pay attention to these mods, right? So you've got to make sure you remove the Rampage buff, uh, because if you don't, you know, you're not going to be doing any damage. You've got to be very careful about using basic rain shots, because they'll heal right up. You've got to try to remove the shock, uh, if you can, because it's a lot of shock. And you've got to pay attention to Cycle Resist so that you're not you know, using the wrong attacks at the wrong time. So it's a lot to pay attention to. So that's why using a really big damage bot in general will just go a long way because you want to try to finish this fight as quickly as you can, 
okay? So, you know, if you have to do this a few times, that's fine. Um, you know, really experienced players will do okay on this, but less experienced players will probably have a hard time with this. You know, this is a pretty tricky mission in general, especially since, you know, even the lanes, you know, some of the mods on these lanes are not very easy to deal with, okay? So that's the story with mission four. You know, it's a tough one. Um, and you just want to make sure you get through primal quickly if you can. But like I said, the main key is at the start of the fight, remove those uh, resistance buffs. You've got to remove rampage. Otherwise, it's going to be a long fight and you're going to end up either shocked to death or he's just going to beat you up because he is on very advanced AI and he reacts incredibly quickly. OK, so I hope this has been helpful, guys. I will leave it there for now and we will be in touch again soon. Take care.